So I'm here today with Susan Moore, one of Arts by Salia's June featured artists. Susan is an impressionist painter who works mostly in acrylics and creates vivid paintings consisting of mostly landscapes. Welcome, Susan. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and about your work. Well, I was raised in LA. I've sort of, I've pretty much been an artist all my life. I graduated from Cal State University Northridge, uh, major in art, uh, went into graphic design, um, but I always painted, illustrated, uh, that sort of thing uh, for, um, for years, and uh, then I moved to Reno, Nevada, and um, was uh, working in casinos, graphic design, that sort of thing. And then I switched to decorative wall finishes, murals, um, uh, which like opens up your schedule, but then it's like your income's like this. Mm -hmm. So uh, the ultimate artist struggle, right? Yes, and so it's probably been the past 10 years that I have really tried to focus on my fine art. Uh, there's an art festival, um, music festival out here called Burning Man. Maybe some of you have heard of it. And I go to that every year and it participated in some of the pieces. I live here with my partner and, uh, um, and dogs and cats. Excellent. So um, it sounds like you've done a, a variety of different mediums throughout your artistic career. What is it about acrylics that attracts you so much? In school, of course, you, you work with a lot of things. I have to say the acrylics attracted me uh, because of the immediacy. And once I got into doing murals, uh, and it's less toxic too. I've, I've been doing I remember doing oil paintings many years ago and kind of feeling like, oh, is this healthy? Uh, acrylics dry quickly. And so if you paint a tree and the client says, why did you put it in that corner? It's like, it's paint, I can fix that. Um, you can change things quick, immediately. When you're, you're choosing the subjects for your paintings, what are you looking for? I, I've noticed a lot of them are landscapes. Do you tend to lean towards the landscapes or is that just like a, a happen chance of the, the image that you are leaning towards? I have to say I do lean towards landscapes, but I get my inspiration, okay, don't laugh, from uh, friends like travel pictures on Facebook, that sort of thing. Something will just appeal to me and I'll see a painting in it. Or it might be like a picture in a magazine, but it's the view from the window um, mm. in a photograph. And I'm like, that's a lovely chair, but look at that picture. You know, there are things that I just see that attract me. And uh, I say, that's a painting. And we travel a lot. So I take pictures often thinking that they might be a painting. I've noticed in a lot of your work, there's a, a heavy use of shadow against light. Is that something that you are using intentionally or do you think it's just something that you are generally attracted to image wise? So I'm looking at like this piece, fire sky right over here. Um, and then this one right here as well. Uh, I believe that one is the, the new dusk or now dusk. There, there, <laughs> there was a friend of mine who was posting a lot of silhouettes, uh, like a view from his house, and I was always saving them. So I could guess that those two are from a similar viewpoint. Um, it just, it just depends uh, what I see and what what strikes me. So, uh, uh, yeah. You don't know that the painting directly behind you, a friend of mine drove across country. And I have, I didn't send all of those paintings to you, but he posted a lot of interesting storm, thunderclouds, Midwest kind of things. Uh, and I think I painted three or four paintings from the paintings he posted. And he was really happy about that. And so, and he's an artist and a muralist himself. So, 
when I told him that and showed that in a gallery, he's like, you start sending me more pictures. <laughs> so what he really likes that I actually painted from his pictures. Nice. Um, so Reflective State is the title of your show and it, you also have one of your pieces is titled Reflective State. Um, why did you choose that piece to be the title piece for the show? It's more sort of how you feel when you're painting. Uh, I don't, I know a lot of people listen to music. I will listen to TED Talks sometimes or music. It depends when I'm painting. And there's been some very moving TED Talks. And I look at the painting and I remember what I was thinking, how I was feeling when I was listening to that beautiful thing about mental illness or brotherhood or I don't know what is on TED Talks, whatever. So the painting has, even though it might not reflect it in the painting, uh, it is, there are feelings in, in the painting. Is there a piece within this show that is your favorite? The one right behind you is one of my favorites but that's like kind of like asking what's your favorite child even though i never had children i know that's a bad question um i i like each piece uh for exactly what they are all right well thank you so much susan for taking the time to meet with us today and we, we love this show and we really appreciate appreciate having yeah. an opportunity to show your work Get out and see art. You will feel better. Socially distance. It's fine. Just get out and, and participate as much as you safely can.